When I started at Stevens College, the decision to go to block scheduling had already been made. But there was a point along the way where I bought in, where I looked at the block schedule and went, you know what? I think this is going to work, and I think this is going to be kind of great. I want to recreate that moment for you. So we were at Cornell College, and I was listening to the student panel tell us about their experiences. And I started drawing, and I drew some numbers on the side here, which were hours a week a student spends in the content. And then I started drawing the days. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And I was thinking about, all right, all right, how much time do they spend with the materials? So let's look at the traditional 16-week course. And don't grouch at me that I'm going to be optimistic with these numbers and assume best intentions, because that's just how we're going to go. So in a 16-week course, students are in class three times a week for three hours. So we know they're with the content. They're thinking about our stuff for three hours. But then there's also study time. Now, I don't buy the Carnegie hours. I'm trying to be realistic here. So let's say an extra hour on Monday. So Tuesday or Wednesday, we've got a big exam. So we're going to do two hours on Tuesday. Wednesday, maybe an hour to recap, and maybe an hour on Friday. So I've shown this to faculty before, and they went, wow, that's, uh, that's some optimistic studying. Like I said, we're going to be optimistic. So that's the amount of hours a student spends with the content each week on the 16 week. It's not super deep, but it's multiple times, and again, over 16 weeks. The block schedule is different. Every day, the students are going to class and spending three hours with the content. Three. Already, that's a lot more time than they do in the 16-week course, including studying. That's just, this is just class time. And as we were at Cornell, not only in the student panel, but in other spaces, I would ask students, honestly, how much time do you spend studying each night? And I got a really consistent answer, so I'm prone to believing it. The students, no matter who I ask, said, ah, between two and three hours. After three, we run out of steam, and so that just doesn't happen. But between two to three hours a night, each night. Okay, well, Monday to... We're going to go the full three on Tuesday, because remember, we got that exam on Wednesday. We'll go an hour. We'll go two. And you know what? We won't even do Friday, because we're uh, working for the weekend here. And I drew this out, and I looked at it and went, man, I think the block is going to work. Because here's the thing. We know learning happens over time. But when I drew this out, I realized learning happens over time. It's not a skim surface over 16 weeks. It's a deep dive every day for 18 days. That's when I bought into the block.